Nearly 200 years before settlers began to arrive in northeast Lambton in the 1830s, the first European settlement may have been a Jesuit mission in the Grand Bend area about 1640. After Brebeuf and Chaumont visited this area, maps and reports were sent back to France. While the original maps have never been located, maps produced in France in 1656 and 1660 were supposedly based on the reports and maps of Chaumont. They show locations of missions or villages in French Canada. The most mysterious of these was one in present-day Lambton. It was called St. Francois, and on the maps of 1656 and 1660, it seems to have been in the area of the Osaba River, near present-day Grand Bend. While evidence has been found of most of the Jesuit missions, there is only one report which seems to support this early presence of the French in Lambton. In 1828, a hunter named Edward Pettit from Black Rock or Port Huron was in the Pinery area, an area which then extended from Ipper Wash up to Grand Bend. While rendezvousing with a group of Indians, Pettit came across a clearing which included a foundation 24 by 40 feet at the south end of which was an 18-foot high chimney made of stone. In the middle of the foundation was a three-foot thick oak tree, which Pettit estimated to be about 150 years old. This would place the construction of the building in the mid to late 1600s. The Indians, which with Pettit, said that their grandfathers told them the structure was built by fair-skinned people who wore black dresses. Pettit reasoned that he had found one of the lost missions of the Jesuits. However, there is a problem. No one has since seen any sign of the structure. Local legend says that the mission was buried in the movement of the sand dunes of the Pinery and that perhaps one day it will reappear. However, the supposed location would likely have been in a stable part of the dunes and it is doubtful that it was buried. If it was along the shore of Lake Huron, it might have been covered or destroyed by wave action or erosion since there's been so much shifting of the shoreline over the last 200 years. A 1935 story says that no one at the Pinery could find any trace and that no trees at all were growing anywhere in the Pinery area. The 1828 report by Pettit is the only one to suggest that a Jesuit mission may or may not have been evidence of the first European residence in Lambton County. There is one strange bit of evidence that might relate. According to a story in Tales of Southwestern Ontario published in 1935, a round stone with 1640 AD carved on it was at one time found near Alvinston. Other letters on the stone which could be discerned might have been B-R-E blank, 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 blank. Remember, it was Brebeuf and Chamont whose notes and maps were mentioned at the beginning of this story. We will probably never know the rest of the story for sure. Was there a mission or was there not? <laughs>